Gamescom is starting to get really close. Like, I'm actually leaving tomorrow in a week. So, yeah, it's, it's getting serious, guys. So before I pack my bag or anything, I thought we would have to have a chill sit down talk about what we expect and what we hope for in Gamescom 2018 because I think there's a lot that people hope for and a lot that people are kind of like anticipating because God knows I know what direction this will probably take. Hopefully not, but probably will. So join me in speculating on what will happen at Gamescom 2018. I'm gonna be media at Gamescom, so I'm going to be there from Tuesday till Thursday and I will have a hopefully in-depth look at a lot of the games and I hope I get my hands on a lot of them. So my top three hopes of what I'm going to be seeing at Gamescom will obviously be Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I hope I get my hands on this because there was a press version that was playable at E3. So uh, yeah, it's possible, but it's not very likely, I think, and we, I think I shouldn't dream too big, so I'll be happy with anything that they give us on Sekiro, and I obviously will let you know immediately as soon as I know anything and as I'm allowed to talk about anything. So um, yeah, definitely I will make sure to find out as much as I can on that. So my second biggest hope of Gamescom 2018 is that I will get to play the Spyro Reignited trilogy, which I think is a reasonable hope as the game comes out next month, so there probably will be a playable demo. I still don't know how to feel about that remastered. I'm of course being like in fond memory of when I played that game as a kid, but it's still like, the, from what I saw in the trailer, it kind of looks different, it kind of feels like a different game. Not, not saying that couldn't be a good game, but uh, I, I'm, I was hoping to get like the same feel that the old Spyro games have, like with the same level design and stuff. But still, I, I will hopefully see if I'm wrong or right about that and I will get my own opinion together more detailed than it is now from one trailer that I saw. My last hope is something that I want not to happen, but I'm aware that this might be a possible route that this event is taking. Honestly guys, you know I'm not the biggest multiplayer person, like I play some PvP in Dark Souls of course, but um, yeah, I'm not like a MOBA person or anything like that. Um, don't really care for multiplayer that much, uh, except for co-op, which I frequently enjoy, but still, um, the whole Fortnite and like Battle uh, Royale kind of games are <laughs> nothing for me as a player. And I hope uh, that the market is not g completely shifting towards that as Fortnite and also PUBG and anything else like that is ridiculously popular nowadays. So I hope that they don't hone in on that way too much as uh, yeah, that's not really my, my type of games. But I, I know there will be a lot of Fortnite going on there as this obviously rakes in a lot, a lot of new players and it's kind of like the new generation of players. Which I'm, I don't want to sound like an old grumpy g video game nerd that is uh, praising that the old games is the only thing that's fun. But yeah, I, I'm just not, I'm not a big like multiplayer person when it comes to video games. So yeah, maybe just not my taste guys. Uh, hope you don't take this to heart and I hope uh, Gamescom won't be like Fortnite.com. I think however that this is a reasonable thing I want to not overtake Gamescom completely as there's a lot of games coming out that have nothing to do with uh, Battle Arena, Battle Royale, whatever that is called. So um, yeah, here's to hoping that it won't take over the entire convention. What I'm really looking forward to at Gamescom, but that's everywhere, here, is discovering the indie area because that's always a gold mine of amazing games that are probably most likely going to be super interesting and super creative which I think is uh, like the boiling pot of what makes video games great. So I'm really hoping to see some new big indie titles, um, something great, something creative, something that changes my perception of what the video game market is today because yeah I definitely hope I see some some innovation there but I'm definitely going to be like th there's, there's a lot always at Gamescom. So I think my chance of getting that wish fulfilled is pretty high and I'm really looking forward to do that actually. Anyways, as previously mentioned, I'm going to be there from Tuesday till Thursday. So if you manage to see me somehow, make sure to wave at me or say hi or something. And yeah, definitely chime into the conversation in the comments down below and tell me what you are looking forward to at Gamescom 2018 and also what you're hoping that will not happen. And if you agree with me, because I always love hearing from you guys. And I'll see you at Gamescom then.